Thank you to everybody who's here today. Ambassador, thanks so much. Those are great words. You know, when we talk about this Hope on Wheels, and a lot of Hyundai dealers in the room today, these are brothers at arms that have decided a long time ago that there's no challenge when it comes to pediatric cancer that we're not going to continue to fight every single day. So I applaud uh, my fellow dealers. I'll tell you what, I really miss being with you guys. Uh, and, and I guess part of it is because you know, everybody says to me, you know, you guys need to learn how to negotiate in order to uh, get something accomplished. And I said, well, I've done that all my life, but it was usually selling cars, so <laughs> that, was, that was more fun. But uh, to be here with Lynn McCall and Mike McCall, Mike has been a great advocate uh, for pediatric cancer for a long time. And whenever we first met and talked about this, he said, isn't this odd? Our, our uh, piece, the, uh, the HOPE Act, and HOPE on Wheels. And we didn't have a, a talk about that beforehand. It was truly providential that we were, were at the same page on the same topic with the same objective. It's an incredible thing to have happen. So having said that, Mike, it's always good to be with you and thank you so much for your fight, but we'll keep, we'll keep going. And CJ, Brianna, listen, Brianna, I, I met her a long time ago. She lit up the stage at the New York Auto Show and then she came before the dealers at our annual meeting. And the big question was, can we bring this 12-year-old child to talk to these business guys about contributions and asking them to contribute money to something. Now all these guys are sitting in this auditorium out in Las Vegas and, and this little girl comes out and she says, hi, <laughs> I'm Brianna. I gotta tell you, those five or seven minutes that she spent talking to our dealer body made it work. Her ability to communicate, her message, and her struggle, and the struggle of all our children, automatically, just like that, that whole room was transformed into one fighting unit that was gonna defeat childhood cancer. Can you imagine that? A child coming forth with a message that resonated with everybody in the room. It was an incredible lift. So, Brian, so good to see you. Ryan, good to see you again, buddy. Caitlin, I can't tell you how good that was to see you the, be there. You know, Zafar and I were trying to get the speaker of the house to come to this. And I said, boy, that would have been horrible. He would have been sitting here crying the whole time. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, it's not that he's weak. It's that he has such a big heart. And when it comes to children, he can't do it. So when we talk about a country that has so many assets, so many natural resources, so much going for it, the number one asset we have are our children. Who's going to carry the baton forward? Who's going to take it up whenever we finish? Who will carry this great country forward? It's going to be our children. So my goodness, the battle that we wage today isn't just for these children. It's for the future. It's a phenomenal battle that we all agree to. Well, you know, part of what I do now is uh, every once in a while I get a chance to do some really nice things. And it, people ask me all the time, Big Mike asked me and Davey asked me, so hey, do you feel that being here was worth it? Being in Congress and walking away from the car dealership? Oh my goodness, yes. Oh my goodness, yes. At this time in our history, the opportunities we have are phenomenal. I want to tell you something. As we talked about all this funding, you know what fixes all this? A dynamic and robust economy. You know yourself, there's times that your heart has been willing, but your wallet is weak. You want to help, but you don't have anything left to give. So my message to all our colleagues is, you know what? Let's fix it. Let's fix it. Let's get it up moving. Let's get the economy booming. Let's make America the great country that it has always been and, and reinforce that. So the other part of being here is we get a chance from time to time to fly flags. Doctor, good to see you. Uh, we get a chance to fly flags over our nation's capital in honor of people. We, threw, we flew three flags this week. Now, these flags were flown over the nation's capital in honor of our, of our efforts. And what it really is flown for is for this indomitable spirit that we have to make sure that we protect the future of our country, and that is by having healthy children. And there's an old adage out there, is that the more you learn, the better you can lead. When you know this issue, when you know what the fight is, you can fight it with passion, not just from time to time, but every day in every way. Now, we are truly united as a band of brothers that we're going to get this fixed. We're going to make sure that our kids have the chance that they deserve. So thank you all for being here. Thanks again for your leadership. Thank you.